Okay, so the Jurassic franchise is no stranger to introducing genetic modifications. So far in the franchise, games, movies, books, and anything else I may have missed, we have seen... Hmm, we have seen roughly seven genetic hybrids that were made one of them was made by Dr. Wu, or the one was made by Manticore, the rest were made by Dr. Wu, which all hybrids are Jurassic, or bleh, bleh, the Indominus Rex, the Indoraptor, the Scorpius Rex, the Stegoceratops, the Ankylodocus, and Spinoraptor, which were in the Secrets of Dr. Wu DLC for the first Jurassic World Evolution game, and then the Sinospino, or the Spinoceratops from Camp Cretaceous Season 4. So, out of all of these hybrids, three of them were incredibly dangerous and were incredibly psychotic. So, what went wrong with the first three? Well, for starters, if using a few examples from an artist, by the way, all artists, all art shown is meant as visual aid kind of thing, and they belong to Elman7567 on DeviantArt, which I will link uh, his page in the description below. Again, this is his art, not mine. I have permission to use these. So the first hybrid, as an example, is the Dilaranosaurus, which was in Jurassic World Alive, but much different. So, dinosaurs, the problem with genetic hybrids, there are multiple problems. The first one is, is the instincts of each creature. For example, again, with the Dilaranosaurus. This is a hybrid of Dilophosaurus and Uranosaurus. That's a predator-prey mashup right there with two different instincts. Now, obviously, this version of the Dilarano is much different than the one we do see in Jurassic World Alive, where it was more on an Uranosaurus body, but it had, still had the Dilophosaurus head and frill. The one thing this hybrid does retain is its ability to spit its venom. So, as like I said, these are two different types of instincts. One is predatory, the other is prey. So, not all creatures are a compatible mashup. For example, the Paradynonicus from the Chaos Factoy line if we use something like that, it makes something like that is incredibly dangerous. Alright, so now again, same artist, I had permission to use these. Another hybrid is the Giganocephalus, a Giganotosaurus Euoclocephalus hybrid. Now, the base genome for this would most likely be the Giganotosaurus, which means it would primarily be a Giganotosaur type instinct with just a bit of Euopocephalus thrown in. However, for other hybrids, such and again, using the Chaos Effect toy line as an example, along with this, the Ultimasaurus, which was one of the toys that I don't think was ever released from the toy line, I th maybe was most likely a very psychotic dinosaur because it had so much thrown into its genetic code, which the same thing happened with the Scorpius, the Indoraptor, and the Indominus. Problems occurred. So, the reason, that is reason number one on why the simpler hybrids, as I would call them, such as Giganocephalus here, or the Stegoceratops are much more simpler and non, well, I'm not going to say they're not dangerous. They're dangerous, obviously, but they're less crazy than, than a dinosaur such as the Scorpius. 
it's just one of two instincts. It's two inst uh, I mean, it's two instincts thrown in. If, for example, a third one was thrown in. Okay, so we have another example. This one is a bit more tricky. If it loads. There we are. The dodo raptor. A dodo, a dodo bird, velociraptor, interstrensivia hybrid. Three different instincts of three different animals mixed together. Now, most likely, the result of this would be a creature that is somewhat aggressive with all the predator instincts that have been thrown in, but it is also able to take advantage of... The second problem with hybrids such as the Indominus, for example, is what animal do they primarily take after? Which is something in this franchise has to be considered in, say, Jurassic World Evolution, if you use a hybrid dinosaur. What would it take more after? What, for example, if I go back to the... If I use the Dota Raptor, for example, what would it take... What primarily is there in its brain? Would it most likely act more similar to a velociraptor, a dodo bird, in a strensavia? Who knows? A hybrid such as this or a spinoraptor is a difficult thing to figure out, especially when it involves the animal's welfare. Now, because this is a Jurassic World Alive fan-made creature, it's not, there, it's not like the Jurassic World Evolution. It's not going to be much more of a, um, a welfare type thing so much as it is a creature you fuse together. Which I will be doing creature showcases from every Jurassic game that we have that has a lot of things, primarily Evolution, Alive, Primal Ops, and the game. Well, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys want me to do something like this again, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and again, I will leave the, the artist link in the description so you can go check his art out. I will see you guys later.